So we're going to go through here. We got a random wheel here. Yes. Let All right. Me, this let is me for this. who will pick right. first. This is for who's number one overall. No in one the wants first, to because it's there. The first annual uh, draft. It is me. God damn yeah. it. <laughs> All right, Peter. Here's the hot take time. Who are you picking with the first overall pick? <laughs> All right. Uh, hot take. I am drafting Caleb Williams. Woo. Woo. Who would have guessed? Anyway. Just, it, I mean, they tried to make a story of it early on. It doesn't matter. Um, He's going 1-1. One, one, does, it don't matter. Yeah. It no don't. discussion. It's very clear at this point. They, uh, the commanders, actually, they invited a bunch of quarterbacks to play top golf in D.C., and Caleb Williams wasn't even invited because everyone knows he's going to Chicago. Yep. Is that obvious? All right. Justin Raj. See who we got. I'm ready. I'm ready. Who's ready? Oh, 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 oh. Justin. Ooh. God, I wanted the Giants. Uh, <laughs> okay. No, does that mean Ross gets the yeah. Giants? No. <laughs> you bastard. All right. Okay. This is, again, this is not what I would do because I think it's very clear at this point. Yeah. I think the commanders are going to draft Jaden Daniels. Um, okay. I think he I agree with that. Is a very similar quarterback. Mm -hmm. Not similar, but he's, he's got some similar things to um, Kyler Murray, who Cliff Kingsbury coached. Um, and he had a really good season. So I would personally not do this if I was Washington, to be clear. But I, I would, I'm not changing that pick because I think it's, I think it's likely yeah. what's going to happen. And I'm going to keep this intact. So Jaden Daniels goes to the commanders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I I agree with that because that's just what like there's been a lot of rumblings. I think Adam Schefter literally qu is quoted saying he's doubled down on his take that uh, they're going to be drafting him second overall. So I think I would agree with that one. All right, so Raj, you got New England. Drizzy May. Dr Drake drafted May. Drake May. Yep. All right. I think this is an interesting spot for the Patriots because I actually think a lot of trade down potential could be there. Uh, for I was them. about to say because wait, let me let me check because wait, so I have Arizona and then. Yeah, I remember trades are live here. I know that's what um, I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to, so I have Chicago, Arizona, one, two, Tennessee. Now one, two, three, Jets. Now whoever's Minnesota should trade up into that spot. I think that would be Justin. Oh wait, yeah, Justin. Wait, you should trade into that spot. Into what five? Into um three. no into three. No, I don't want to trade into three. Okay, that's fine. Caveman Drake May. Wait, did I get the, did I get the Vikings? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm so passionate about this. Okay. Oh my god. So I was thinking go. of the teams I wanted to wear over here. All right. Um, so you have Drake. Yeah, I guess May I should going. probably like figure out what teams I'm, I have. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Drake May goes to New England. I think that does like a very good job at like mm -hmm. giving them their quarterback. I think he is basically the exact opposite of Mac Jones. Yeah. He is all potential and. <laughs> zero poise like i always say <laughs> alabama quarterbacks have no success in the nfl jalen hurts is an oklahoma product <laughs> ding 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 <laughs> but um yeah i, I would agree with that because it, it gives them like a true like this dude's got a cannon of an arm he's young he can be developed i think gerard mayo i think as that head coach over there i think he's like you know a young head coach he's understands what the modern offenses will need i think they'll be able to figure it out over there um yeah. so yeah i think that's a great pick and now with Arizona, Arizona G. Hold on, I guess uh, this, this, we didn't think this through enough. Because oh, that's what I was saying. We hold should. on. Can we, we pause right here and get yes. a list of our teams? After further discussion, once we actually figured out who we were picking and everything, because this is a clearly very professional podcast yes. here. Uh, we now know who we're actually choosing so we can make trades. Yep. Um, all right. So uh, at four, a, at a, four. A, a trade spot for sure. I'm not trading this. Oh. Well, <laughs> Arizona is 110% taking Marvin Harrison Jr. They no should take Marvin there. Harrison. You are not like I could see passing up for like the, for a Malik Neighbors or a Roma Dune say you are not passing on Marvin Harrison Jr. Yeah, this no. dude came into college a professional athlete. This dude is he literally is if Marvin Harrison had a son who was six foot four. Like, that's <laughs> mm -hmm. what you're getting. A Hall of Famer. Like, this, there you go. You're not passing that up for Kyler Murray. Yep. Agreed. Right. So, my pick, Chargers. Five Chargers, has also been a place where people think there could be trades. So, I don't know if any of you have you, trades for me. Do you have any? So, are you willing to trade that? Very unwilling. Very unwilling? Unless you have a good offer. Okay, wait. Let me see who's, who's still on the board. Um, You've got... JJ McCarthy's obviously on the board. Neighbors, a dude's no. neighbor, a McCarthy. If because I had Vegas, because I saw that Vegas was looking into trading up for uh, Jaden Daniels, mm -hmm. um, but now that he's off the board, I don't think I'm gonna trade yeah. up with because any of my teams. I'm resistant no. to do this because what I am going to do is draft Joe Alt, and so this has been a okay. This has been huh. something that I've been I've been thinking about the Chargers. This is more of what I would do. I'm not necessarily sure they will do this. Um, the Chargers have, have a really gutted roster. They had to get rid of a lot of players for cap reasons, and I don't think they're in the business of competing for 
the playoffs or really a title next year. Maybe they sneak into the playoffs. But I think what would be best for them is to shirt up the other tackle position. They have Rashawn Slater, who's been really good. Shirt up the right tackle side mm-hmm. and really build your offensive line trenches. Joe All is, I think, the safest bet in this entire draft. I think if there's one player that I know is going to be an all pro, it will be Joe All. Yeah. He's fantastic. And I think you just sure up the position right there, get good in the trenches, have another rough year, and then you can start drafting skill pl- players later in you the gotta draft. You got to build the trenches first before you get the Yeah. And just, after. I think, I think with receivers, even, I think Malik Neighbors and Adunze are going to be really good. They're still riskier than just Joe All. Ta- high graded tackles usually always yeah. work out. And I think just for the Chargers, they really need a, just a really solid pick. Mm-hmm. I know it's not necessarily a position of need for them, but when you have a guy like Joe Alt who's just so talented. Yep. I just really like that for the Chargers. Yep, I really like that too. All right, Raj, you dropped him for the Giants, and with the sixth pick in the twenty twenty four. By the way, I'd love, I would love to trade up into the spot if your other teams, but I just don't think the Giants would ever trade this pick. I don't think they're trading this, especially with who whoever is available yeah. there. With the sixth pick in the twenty twenty four NFL Coconut Curry Podcast there Draft. The New York football giants select J- no, Malik Neighbors. <laughs> oh, okay. You drafted JJ McCarthy. I'm going to punch you in the If head. Malik Neighbors is still on the board, you got to take him. You got to take I, him. You have Jones for another year. I swear to God, if you say they're going to draft JJ McCarthy. Oh, I 100% think if he's there at 60, they're drafting him. They, they love JJ McCarthy by all reports. Like, love him because they're setting the smoke screens so that way other teams draft quarterbacks early so that way a receiver falls to them. Okay, I, I know I I like I like sitting there and picking Malik Neighbors. I think it's smart. I think it's silly to just waste. Yes, uh, Daniel Jones Jones's like contract. I yes. I just think I think that if in that situation the Giants get JJ McCarthy six, I think they'll draft him. But I it could be a smoke screen. Have. Yeah, it's so hard to tell with teams. Okay, Tennessee, Tennessee, pissed to see Joe Alt off the board. Absolutely furious. I was honestly kind of surprised that Joe Alt went with the Chargers right there. They are absolutely furious because they would have loved to have Joe Alt there. Would you consider a trade for Tennessee? For who? I, I as a Jags, would love to make a big splash and trade up to this spot. What are you trading? Let me check my picks. What do the Jags have? I've never really seen the Jags trade in this spot. Jags have seventeen. Okay. Yes, that you'll get seventeen. Okay, so um, it's swaps and then what? Guys, okay, no, I know that they're not interested in that pick. I know this is like not based. A lot of people haven't put, put this. I would like to trade my first seventeen this year. Turn the shit off. Bro. I would like to trade seventeen, ninety six, and okay. a second last next year. Okay, so wait, so you're saying you would? Tr- okay, wait, sorry, let me yeah I'm organize this. It. Okay, so Tennessee. Would receive. With, who are they trading with? The Jags. Jags. Um, Wait, where would they be? Uh, Jack. Jack. Okay, so Tennessee will be sending uh, it, seven. Again, we're not going to get into like too much pick drama here because like I think ninety six can make it work. And what? I would like to trade my first, so seventeen yeah, for seven, seventeen ninety six, and and then a second and a third from next to next year. Second and a to third get up into the spot. Year. I know Pro Football Focus doesn't say, but I don't. They didn't even say that. The, they're saying that the Jags aren't even interested in this pick. So you know what? Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. All right. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good trade. I like that. And the reason I'm doing this is because wait, it won't let me click. Just, on. just figure it out. Just meander it. Just send some other picks from. Oh, uh, I can't make this trade. Because... Well, no, no. Just send some BS from uh, Tennessee for like. Oh, so I'm on Pro Football Focus because I've used yeah. it before, so yeah, I can't do just it. Do on this. Pro yeah. Pro yeah. Random picks. And the reason yeah, yeah, I'll just matter, pick but, yeah. pick here. I'm um, just kind of the Titans. The reason I am picking this here is I want to draft Roma Dune. Oh, wait, you have the pick technically still. We didn't. Oh, you'll just take the Titans later in that, in that spot. Well, you can just go into the draft. Or no, you're doing profile. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Um, but you're going to pick as the Titans later in that spot. Yes. Um, the reason I'm doing this is draft Roma Dune's day. Um, I think people, the underrated story of this all has been the Jags have no receiver talent. Calvin Ridley left. Let's go Christian move. Kirk. And if you're Trevor Lawrence and you're trying to figure, if you're the Jags and you're trying to figure out if Trevor Lawrence is that guy, you need to get a big time receiver in the room. Mm-hmm. I think getting room room Dunze puts yeah. your receiver room a lot better, and you can actually start to evaluate if this guy's good or not. I you was can, just about to say I've actually watched like so actually some like um, some tape on Roma Dunze. Um, oh, this is a guy on YouTube. I think it's uh, I forget his name. Uh, something Coleman. Um, but he does like a, like a breakdown of like a bunch of like the top prospects. And like one of the, ch- like one of the things that like was an issue with Rome was like, okay, well, he doesn't get like a ton of separation that could be like a knock on him and stuff. But the thing is, is that he 
that's kind of his style essentially like he doesn't need that kind of separation like that's not like his oh, type of pray. receiver like he is a very big body physical yeah. receiver that runs through contact and stuff so he doesn't have like oh like breakaway speed like a malik yeah. neighbors but you throw the ball in this dude's zip code he's getting that mm -hmm. like he had i think it was i think it was like a 63 percent catch rate on contested catches which was 13 percent higher than anybody else in the draft nuts. which is insanity yeah it's so it's like yeah you have trevor lawrence shuck this guy up the rock he'll go and get it yeah and so for i'm also at the falcons here at eight um i think love the trade out of this pick except for the fact that you i don't, don't think anybody know. trades up here because no um, you're, there's, there's somebody that is so free for that you should be drafting right now i'll go into that um but i do think like this would be a spot here where the falcons are upset because the the bears at nine the jets at 10 are clearly not taking jj mccarthy and i think nobody would yeah it's gonna be falling yeah I, so i think that'll be interesting there um i'm who i'm gonna go with here is i'm gonna go Sure up my defense a little bit, and I'm gonna get Brian Murphy, the interior defensive lineman. All right, for defense. How the hell is he? Byron Murphy. Scroll down a little bit. Further. It's from Texas. Uh, Texas. Um, yeah. Oh, I think they even after he got arrested. I did not know he got arrested. Well, to be honest, Jalen Carter too. Um, too but I'm gonna draft him there. I think they obviously need help on the defensive line. I'm um, sure up that defense a little bit. Their offense is pretty is good intact. I don't need to focus on the offense. Yeah. Yep. There's talks there about them drafting Dallas Turner, about Jared Verse. That was the person Those that I, I saw that uh, there was like yeah. heavily, heavily hinted at yep. they might be drafting. If he's on the board, Dallas Turner I see, going there. I see a defensive lineman a little bit more as a position in need for them, but I could see him going with the defender in that spot. Well, because they already have um, Calais Campbell. I think he's still back yeah. there. So he's a defensive tackle there. Mm -hmm. So I could see where I could see either both trains of thought where it's like you either draft a young defensive lineman to train under him or you still have somebody there for a little bit. You draft an edge. Yep. I could see either train it's, of thought yeah. there. Which with either of those guys, you really can't go wrong. Yeah, like you really can. Um, so yeah, now you're drafted for Chicago. So with their high powered offense, which is already loaded because yeah, of Keenan trades. Allen, DJ Moore, mm -hmm. now Caleb Williams. Yep. They have DeAndre, uh, Swift. DeAndre Swift. Swift. They still have Cole Komet. Mm -hmm. Um, plenty of people on offense. Who you go with? You got to go defense. Invest in the defense. Dallas Turner. Good. Yeah. Him and him and Montez Sweat mm -hmm. would be like an amazing duo right there. I, I think if. Dallas Turner was selected by the Falcons. I think they would actually just select Brian Murphy down there below. Yeah, like I think that I can see that. Well, I can see that. There. I can see Jared Verse too. Yeah, I can see absolutely those guys going. Um, okay, so now I'm drafting for the Jets. Jets. Gosh. <sighs> so JJ Mc. Okay, you need to hear me out here. So they should draft alignment here. They're not going to. They should absolutely shore up this offensive line because they have a lot of old guys. They're kind of pushing their chips on the table, saying, we're going to win now, right? What they should do, realistically, is draft an interior offensive lineman, yeah. draft another tackle, whatever, to really protect Rodgers. I don't think they're going to do that. Because if Brock Bowers is still on the board, I think they take him.